starring in the upcoming comedy Ted 2. But funny enough, we can TBT, throwback Thursday, to when the 29-year-old was probably asking Santa for teddy bears of her own. You're asking, is this a picture from 1922? No, she's just in Allentown, Pennsylvania, where clearly the dress was a little more Amish than posh. But things changed as Amanda grew up, went to William Allen High School, and participated in a ton of activities. She did everything from yearbook club to dance and several years of tennis. We hope they paid the photographer extra for this amazing shot. Amanda looks like she was a fun, popular girl, and we hope she still keeps in touch with a few of her friends. Amanda's still front and center, but she's lucky because that kid who wore a tie to picture day could have easily stole the show. All right, so Miley Cyrus can be a little outlandish at times. We know this. The whole town knows this. But leave it to the governator himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger, to set the record straight on Miley's true colors. Arnold was able to meet Miley when she was dating his son, Patrick. He tells the Howard Stern Show, When I did meet Miley Cyrus, when she came up to Sun Valley skiing during our holidays, I found out that she is a fantastic person. The 67-year-old's opinion came with some good examples, too. He reportedly says, We had little kids in the house. She went out every day to buy gifts for them. She played with them, really, sincerely, like two hours at a time would go out in the snow with them. Well, we guess she isn't solely focused on adult activities. Arnold added that she was a wonderful person, then she has this career side where she maybe has to be a little out there. So what? It didn't bother me. We trust Arnold to know whether or not she's expendable. One of the last times we saw Cameron Diaz was at the premiere for Annie back in December 2014, and there's good reason. According to Us Magazine, Cameron is taking at least a year off from work to focus on becoming a mother and engaging in her new role as wife with husband of five months, Benji Madden. In other words, forget Charlie's Angels, Cameron wants a little angel of her own. Us Magazine reports all she wants is to stay home and enjoy this special time in her life. She has told her team she won't answer the phone for any amount of money, even though she has received offers for various things. She is adamant that she is not available for anything. Well, the 42-year-old raked in $18 million in 2014 alone, so we're sure she's able to sit pretty for a little bit to focus on the family life. According to the magazine, her priorities have 100% shifted. She wanted to settle down, and she has. These are the Diaz talk of the James Bond franchise, is that in your mind, how would you feel about playing that role? Uh, well, I'm British, I mean, it's part of my, our, our culture, you know, it would be silly to, for anyone who could turn that down, I don't, they'd need their heads tested. Could Jason Statham be the next James Bond? We caught up with him at the premiere of the new Fast and Furious supercharged thrill ride at Universal Studios, and he had a lot to say on the subject of possibly playing the next Bond. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's one of my favourite franchises of all time, and, uh, you know, if that, do if that knock ever came on the door, I'd be the first to say yes. But one thing the 47-year-old made sure to point out was nobody could fill the current Bond, Daniel Craig's, shoes. It's exciting because you're, uh, you're filling Daniel's boots in the layer case. You, no one can fill Daniel's boots. He's a <laughs> tremendous actor. Whoever does it will be very different to Daniel. He's got his own identity and he's played a fantastic role. And uh, I really respect him as an actor and I think he's played a great Bond. So whoever, whoever turns into the next... Uh, James Bond, we'll all wait and see. This morning, the Daily Star reported that according to Sony, Daniel Craig will continue to play the role, starring in at least one more film after Spectre. But if there's any hesitation, we know Jason's up for the challenge. We can't help but love that Jennifer Lawrence doesn't take herself too seriously. The star, who often decides to dodge the cameras, instead chose to make somewhat of a statement when leaving Nobu last night. Jennifer headed out for a New York dinner with friends, looking stylish in a swishy white dress. Her long blonde hair hung in relaxed curls. She layered on some jewellery for a boho feel and added some circular sunglasses. A bucket bag and peep toe boots completed her outfit. When arriving at the restaurant, the star was already in a fun mood and skipped with the biggest grin possible spread across her face. But it was when leaving that Jen decided to get into character sporting some uber cool chopstick teeth. I guess sometimes a girl just wants to act her shoes.